Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another in reference to visiting my house for the first time. The answer, take his money. So how might that work? I'm going to his house Wednesday, she said. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll. Then, after the first time we met, net worth is 51 mil, she said. Bitch, you better secure the bag, was the response. Uh, but, but how was she going to do that? Need daddy to choke me out, she said. Being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million, read another text. Uh, then, after the second time we met, former Padres pitcher Jacob Nix told her, you got to get this bag. I'll give you 50,000, Lindsay replied. Her AA sponsor asked her at one point, do you feel a tiny bit guilty? Not really, she replied. Since then, her legal team has approached me multiple times about coming to a financial settlement. But as I have done since day one, I refuse to pay her even a single cent. Uh, in August of 2021, Lindsay Hill's claims were heard in court. And during those legal proceedings, critical information was deliberately and unlawfully concealed from me and my legal team. Uh, information like this video, which was taken by Lindsay Hill herself the morning after she claimed she was brutally attacked, emotionally traumatized, and desperate to get away from me. Uh, and now we have the metadata, so there can be no dispute. Uh, it was taken mere minutes before she left my house on the morning of May 16th, 2021, without my knowledge or consent, of course. Uh, in it, you can see her lying in bed next to me while I'm sleeping, smirking at the camera without a care in the world, or any marks on her face. I think it paints a pretty clear picture of what actually happened the evening of May 15th and why the video was originally concealed from us. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, after hearing the evidence available to her, Judge Diana Gold Saltman found that Lindsay Hill had misled the court. She found her claims to be materially misleading. Uh, she denied her request for a domestic violence restraining order, and she found that no sexual assault or non-consensual conduct took place. Now, some of you might not know about restraining order hearings. I know I didn't, but uh, I've since learned that uh, it's extremely rare for a request for a restraining order to be denied because the standard of proof that you need to obtain one is extremely low. So you can make of that what you will. The fact is I was never arrested. I was never charged with a crime and I won the only legal proceeding that took place without my side of the story even being heard. Uh, and most importantly, as I've said from day one, I never sexually assaulted Lindsay Hill or anyone else for that matter. So I sued her, which prompted her to countersue me. Quite frankly, regardless of the outcome in court, I've paid significantly more in legal fees than Lindsay Hill could ever pay me in her entire life. Uh, and I knew that would be the case going in, but the lawsuit was never about the money for me. It was the only way for me to obtain critical information to clear my name. Uh, the discovery process in that lawsuit recently concluded, at which point uh, Lindsay Hill's legal team again came to us with another proposal to resolve the case. This time, however, they weren't seeking any money from me. Having received uh, much of the information that had been hidden from us, uh, a small portion of which I've referenced here, um, I was willing to agree to the terms proposed. Both parties would drop their respective lawsuits and neither of us would pay either side any money. Um, I also retained my right to speak publicly about the case, something I have not been at liberty to do since June of 2021. So as of today, both lawsuits have been settled. Now, over the last two years, I've been forced to defend my integrity uh, and my reputation in a very public setting, but hopefully this is the last time I have to do so, as I'd prefer to just remain focused on doing my job, uh, winning baseball games and entertaining fans around the world. So today, I'm happy to be moving on with my life.